98, 99, 100. Whew. I do my best to stay fit. We all know that exercise is an important part of a healthy lifestyle. But did you know that exercise is even more important when you're training to be an astronaut? Other than eating and drinking, what do you think NASA astronauts do to stay healthy? Hmm, experiment? I know, I know. Is it moonwalking? Exercise. You see, floating in space is a lot of fun, but spending time in space causes changes in the body that aren't good when the astronauts return to Earth. You see, on Earth, our bodies work against gravity. Gravity is the force that pulls you to the ground. When you stand up, you have to lift the weight of your body and carry that weight wherever you go. The muscles in your legs, back, and neck have to work against gravity with every step you take. Even when you take a rest after playing with your friends, your muscles are still working against gravity. Your bones get a workout too. Your skeleton supports your muscles and protects your insides. When you stand up, walk, or run around, your bones are carrying your body's weight. This kind of work keeps your bones strong. Gravity gives your heart a workout too. When you're standing up on Earth, gravity pulls the blood down towards your feet. So your heart works hard against gravity to pump the blood up to your brain and to keep the blood moving from your feet back up to your heart. But in space, all of these things change. Want to find out more? Let's visit our friend over at NASA's Johnson Space Center. Dr. Chell Lindgren helps keep our astronauts healthy and fit for travel. Weightlessness looks like a lot of fun. The astronauts are floating, their tools and their food are also floating around. But it's also hard on the body as well. The heart doesn't have to work as hard because you're not standing up. When you stand up on Earth, the blood is pulled down by gravity and the heart and your muscles have to work to keep the blood moving back up to the heart and up to the brain. So the heart doesn't have to work as hard in space. Your bones and your muscles also don't have to work as hard because you're not standing up, you're not constantly fighting against gravity. And so those can, can weaken and you can, so you can lose bone mass and your muscles can become smaller. It's very similar to somebody just laying in bed all the time. Scientists actually use that as a model or a way to um, demonstrate the effects of weightlessness. We have people lay in bed for long periods of time and we look at how their bones weaken and their muscles and their hearts uh, weaken as a result. Some of these tests last up to 90 days. In bed for 90 days? That's no fun. So we use exercise in space the astronauts exercise to help keep their bones healthy and their muscles healthy and their hearts healthy. Thanks for sharing all that fascinating information with us. Astronauts can inspire you to make physical fitness a part of your life too. I'm even more motivated to work out than before. Come on, Globy, I'll race you. <laughs> <laughs>